we've gotten ourselves into a spot of bother. <laughs> My name's Sam Ball. I'm Brooklyn Ball. This is Ronan Ball. And together we are Australia by the Balls. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this week's episode we are beach camping at Tiwa Beach. We have had the best four days, we can't wait to show you so let's get straight into it. We have just arrived at the Noosa North Shore Ferry Terminal and to say I am nervous is an understatement. I am bloody, <laughs> I'm terrified, I'm very nervous. First time that we're gonna be taking the car onto the beach. Sorry, the not van. the car. First time we're gonna be taking the van onto the beach with this car. So, very, very nervous. We should be right, we've checked the tides, we do the old general stuff, tire pressures, drive to conditions, yada, 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 but, We've done everything. We've got our vehicle permits. And we didn't actually realize, well, you know, when you're traveling, you, you, you lose track of which day of the week it is. And we've come on a Friday and apparently weekends are just hectic down here. So just sitting here, filling out this permit, we've had about 40 cars come past us already. <laughs> we've only been here about 10 minutes. And we're a little bit early as well. The tide, it, the tide's only just about to turn to start going out. So I reckon she'll be pretty busy out there. Anyway, let's get this permit stuck on the car and get into it. is king the ferry is cash only so make sure you get some out before you get here Right, once you get off the barge, it's pretty straightforward to get here. Just follow your nose, the road will take you there. If you're going to Tiwa, you want to take the third cutting, not the first. The first gets you to the river mouth. We don't want to go there, we're heading up to Tiwa. Beach camping. Oh, we got to air down now. So there's heaps of pullover areas. Um, I'm still super nervous. We're going to air down the caravan to I think around 50 psi on the tyres. Um, it's pretty heavy, they'll bag out heaps, and then the car I reckon will go 20. Gives us a bit of um, leeway if we need to chuck a bit more out later, if not, happy days. It's um, it's pretty much. <coughs> Ronan is excited to be on the beach as well. He it's, is. It's pretty much like a highway driving along here. Uh, lots of tidal movement, so it looks like the sand's pretty compact. Uh, hot tip: road rules apply on these beaches. There is a speed limit. The speed limit is 80, <laughs> which is a lot quicker than we're going to be going. We're only cruising. We're sitting on about 50 at the moment. Uh, beach is, it's. There was a lot of people at the entry, but once you're actually onto the beach, it opens up and everyone sort of pulls away. 
Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. This morning we drove from Harvey Bay and we decided to take uh, Tiwa Beach from oh, south, so yeah. Noosa, instead of going through Rainbow Bay, only because we couldn't find anyone who actually has towed a van from Rainbow to Tiwa. Yeah, talking to the locals, uh, well, the locals at Harvey Bay, and my father actually, everyone recommended doing it from Noosa, and being the first time that we're taking the van on the beach, we were pretty nervous. Uh, so yeah, that's why we made that decision. But that's going to be one of our goals while we're here, is we're gonna check out to see if it actually is possible to take an off-road caravan from Rainbow to Tiwa without getting stuck. I'm sure it's possible, but the fact is, getting stuck. Yeah. Um, but right now, the beach is looking pretty amazing. So I reckon we're going to put the drone up and go find our camp. Let's go. We'd hoped to get some awesome drone shots for you, but we've run into a little bit of an issue. Our um, drone is logged out of its account and currently it won't let us fly it without logging back in. And to log back in, you need Wi-Fi. So that's a little bit frustrating. We're gonna have a look at it once we get back to camp. No drone footage on the way there, but we might surprise you with some on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. We're gonna cut here. We're gonna get some directions. All right, we're out of that. We're out of that mess. That was just. That was too much for me. I'm not a very good navigator reverser kind of a girl yet. But we're gonna try go the other way. So let's spin it around. The sand is soft as. you're on the bigger screen. I don't know how you're gonna get the fan around the corner. No, no! The van is on the side of the hill. Van's in the back. Uh, we've gotten ourselves into a spot of bother. <laughs> Turns out we can't. This campsite would have been bloody perfect, but we just couldn't make the corner with the van, and then there was a tree branch up there. And we couldn't go up and go back. Tried to back out, got a little bit hung up on the sand dune, and now we're stuck. So it's time to bust out the trusty max, max tracks. And it's gonna be pretty easy to get out, I reckon. All we gotta do is just go forwards, reposition the car, and then we'll back straight out of here. All right, let's do it.
at it. Look at it. Hard work. Alright. Where are we going to park? Zone 4 is basically full. Well, we're going to have to go find somewhere. We're going to have to park up next to someone. That's alright. Let's get this packed up and go find a spot. Good, isn't it? Here's the spot though. Look at this. Lucky boy, Rainy. Do you get to sleep next to the beach tonight? You're a lucky boy. Lucky boy. That was a massive, massive day. We are absolutely wrecked and I think it's beer o'clock. So we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. This is going to be part one of our T-Wire adventure. So don't forget, tune in next week if you want to see part two. And if you're enjoying our content, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you at the next one.